what's up you guys welcome back to the toy grid my name is this master and I'm here to bring you another toy review so you guys today I'm super super duper excited just to show you guys that uh, the new release of the Star Wars black series uh, the Clone Wars figures that Hasbro said they were gonna come out this um, in the summer and here they are they're finally out and I'm again I'm super super excited because I love the Clone Wars series uh, I love it to death so much it's one of my favorite um, it's TV shows that ever came out like um, when I um, first of all the show came out when I was in high school and I remember um, the movie came out I didn't get to see it in theaters but I got to see the show but later I saw the movie and I just fell in love with uh, with the whole with the whole show with the whole care uh, the the designs of you know uh, being in 3d and also it, it, in the characters like the character developments and everything um, and also the world build, building I really love uh, everything about Clone Wars it, it's such an amazing show and if you haven't seen it you get the chance to see it um, go to Disney Plus and get the chance to see it if you haven't seen it as you can see I only have three of the four um, you know um, Hawk was uh, the fourth one of the way but I'm not really interested in getting Hawk sure he has a cool design and everything but it just uh, I wasn't really interested in getting him um uh, overall i was mainly interested in getting these three and i'm really happy that i was able to get the chance to get it and and it was a uh, really hard to find especially going to all the different targets that i went through um uh, i was able to get anakin and echo on the first try uh, when i first went to target i was able to get both of them and then obi-wan was a little bit hard to find i went to multiples and i couldn't find it but and then yesterday I was able uh, to get Obi-Wan and also uh, I was able to get another uh, copy of Obi-Wan because I'm planning uh, to open the one I have here in front of me and just leaving this one in the box because I really like how the box design of the Clone Wars um, the packaging uh, for this came out because it looks great and it also very nostalgic I grew up, um, not grew up, I was in high school, but I, I remember when the first, um, here we go, I, I remember when the figures came out and I was really excited and I remember buying the three inch quarter uh, uh, line and back in the day, I still have the figures to this day, I will show it later up in the video, like uh, the, um, the ones for the size for Anakin and Obi-Wan, I will show it to you later in the video, but yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that real quick. I, I'm really excited about this figure, uh, these figures, and I'm a big fan of Clone Wars. That's why I wanted to do this video and wanted to show it off because uh, a lot of people were uh, really looking forward to these figures, and also uh, as mine, you know, they're really hard to find. But but yeah, um, before we get into the video, um, to the before we get into the toy reviews. Uh, I just want to show you uh, the packaging like the again this is the style that came in 2008 when the shirt uh, when the first um, show uh, when the show came out this is the packaging for the figures that came out around that time in 2008 uh, for the three quarter inch uh, scale line and yeah I remember this is exactly how they came out and it, it was a nice packaging back then too and also, you get to see the image of the Clone Wars style of the characters right there. And also, you know, uh, since it's the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm, it's right here. Really nice. Oh. And also, when you look back in the box, um, you get to see, you know, the timeline for all the years of Lucasfilm. And also, uh, all the movies and the shows are back here and right here in 2008 Clone Wars. And yeah, uh, all of them, uh, all the four had the same um and, and it mentioned the background it's just the names are different that's pretty much it for for the back but yeah i'm i'm pretty excited so let's get get these open up and see how uh you know what they're all about i'm gonna start off um doing the review i'm gonna start off um opening up echo 
then Obi-Wan, and then go straight to Anakin for last. I'm gonna put um, time skips that you could do, um, uh, put it on the, the link description below on the time skip. Like, if you're interested just watching Obi-Wan's review or Echoes or Anakin, you could just skip right through on the video so you could just hop right into it. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So yeah, let's get in straight to the review. So here it is, you guys, Echo out of the box. And I gotta say, it looks really, really nice. I really, um, really like the figure. Um, it looks super, super clean, especially like looking at the armor. When I got a closer look, when taking out of the box, it looks really super uh, slick, I would say. Um, and also, it's just, uh, I, I would say like the, his armor, it pretty much... Um, it's pretty much unique, especially for an ARC Trooper. You know, ARC Troopers are really uh, stand out. Uh, you know, they're the ones that are the top, one of the uh, top Clone Troopers elites, like, pretty much. Uh, um, and they, they have more uh, fancier armor than the rest, um, than the rest of the regular Troopers, pretty much. But, yeah, I... Uh, I was surprised how, it, like, in, inside the box it looks great, but out of the box it looks even more amazing. I would say it's really one of my favorites uh, armors uh, they did for the, uh, when, in the show. I thought it was a really unique look, um, you know, t for making the troopers stand out uh, even more. And also, I like when when Echo transitioned to our trooper. He still had um, here. He still had his symbol. When you know when he was a, just a shiny rookie starting out, and Re Captain Rex um, put his hand on uh, and on his chest um, with the blood of an alien, um, <laughs> and then made the symbol on his arm, um, his hand. So I really like that in the show and also in here they made that um, the, the symbol for his arm here and it looks really nice. And it, you know, it, you get to see Echo carry out, you know, how he developed more as a character and and uh, yeah, and I really appreciate um, how the show went on and you know, respected these characters, especially the clones. Um, I know Echo now when he came back because we, we all thought he died. Uh, he came back, you know, he pretty much came more as a cyborg because uh, they were, uh, when he was captured, they were treating him and experimented on him. And now he's, you know, part of the Bad Bash. But this is what he looked like before that happened uh, when he became a Bad Bash. As you can see here, uh, let me get his helmet. You can see his, his helmet here, it looks really nice. Um, like it's really well painted uh, it's not like um, any paint when they added the paint doesn't see any smooshes uh, paint around like or anything like that like and when it comes to you know his face overall is a really um, it's a really nice face um, mold um, I know they combine um, when they were doing the face mold they combine um, the clones um, you know the actor's face from uh, Attack of the Clones that for some reason I keep forgetting his name. I'm gonna put his name in the video but but yeah I'm not disrespecting him or anything. I really like the actor but I'm gonna put the image alongside the video so you can see the difference like um, they take um, the likeness to him when he did Attack of the Clones in episode 3 and you know it carry over when they, they did the show they they wanted, uh, you know, uh, his likeness because, you know, he was um, Jango Fett and he's a clone. So, uh, and the clones, the image of the clones. But I could see, like, him, um, the figure being part, you know, uh, live action and also animated at the same time. I get that vibe from it when I see him um, in figure form. I think they did a really nice job. I know some people, they don't see that. I, I have heard people... They don't see it that way, but I, in a way, for me, I see it, and I think it's really nice. They did a really good job with it. Here are some of the accessories that Echo comes with. He got his um, rifle, he got his um, regular blaster, and also he got his double uh, pistols. The blasters are really nice molded. I really like um, how they came out. 
uh, they're the same as Commander Cody's in a way. I know in Commander Cody's we didn't get the smaller blasters, you know, to put it on his waist, like next uh, next to each other. But um, I like uh, how this little ones came out. You can see the details um, a little bit of the blaster, like uh, how how it's molded. Like you can tell is um, some of the detail implemented in it and i know it's uh, it's all black because it's supposed to be all black uh, the blaster all the blasters in the show are that the clones uses are all black so this is pretty much accurate let's see what um echo looks like with his helmet and his helmet on and look at that let me focus look at that it looks great it looks awesome i i I just can't say it enough. I really like this figure. <laughs> uh, I this makes me excited for a six-inch figure with, uh, when Fives finally comes out. Uh, I got to admit, Five is, Fives is my favorite character, uh, my favorite clone, pretty much in the show. Rex, of course, is um, pretty much first, but um, to second, Fives is my favorite. Like he's. He, he's the one that, that captured, like, like, I was like, I, I have feel, the feels when, when he passed away in the show, I was like, that was my boy, I can't believe they did that to him, I was like crying, and I was like, how can you do this to him, and all that, and like, I was shocked, and when Echo, when we thought Echo died, I was shocked as well, but not at the level as Fives when he died, but, but yeah, I was pretty much out of it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, getting back to the figure, sorry. Uh, getting back to the figure, I really like how he looks with the helmet on. It looks He looks so much even tougher with his helmet on. Oh, I didn't mention this um, when I was showing off the helmet. Let me zoom in a little. But you can, um, the antenna, you can pretty much, um, let me move this up. So pretty much with the antenna, you get it's um, bendable. Like you get you can move it down. So I thought that was a really nice uh, detail thing they did because mostly some of the helmets, clone trooper helmets or bounty hunters, especially Jango and Boba, they they have the antenna, but you cannot bring it up or down. I know with Bo-Katan, they did they um they was able to move it that you can move it up and down. So you can have it like for him like scoping like in long distance like in the show. So I thought that was really neat. And yeah, it's just a really nice detail I really like. So to put away his blaster, his double blaster, um, dual wielding blaster, you can put it right here. Um, I forgot to show you that. I keep forgetting a few things, but yeah, you can put it right here. It's a um, nice compartment for the blasters. And also when you shake it, it doesn't fall off. So all good. The same thing goes for the other side. I really like that they make them um, the blasters when you put it on the belt more secure now. Um, I, they did that before, but sometimes you know they fall off. It depends on the figure, but but yeah, they're doing a uh, really nice job just making it like stay attached. So if it falls off your shelf, you don't have to worry. Um, like looking around for the blasters because it will be right there it's, uh, it's pretty well secure so pretty much for his articulation um it's pretty much same as every figure if he ever got it, a clone on um, trooper or any other regular figure human figure um pretty much should work the same way he could uh, bend his elbows um since he has um armor on he cannot like pretty much um double bend um the elbow because uh, the pads here underneath so it's kind of like blocking that capability uh, for him to double join it um, elbow but that's okay you know he has armor he's supposed to be like a little bit clunk eh, not clunky but you know with all that armor on it, you're not supposed to be like super flexible so I understand that um, his waist um, can go all the way around and also up and down and he can look up 
with the helmet on, he could look down. He could look side to side. He cannot go all the way down, but he could go halfway, I would say. And, and he could go all the way 360. Uh, let me do it with the helmet off. And you could do the same. He could go, if you have the helmet off, he could look up a little bit more and he could look down a little bit more. And also, I can tell like by the neck. I know they've been doing for the figures like, um, they attach like a ball pin for the neck like um it, before it used to be a ball pin like a part of the neck but and now like they make the neck as a whole and then put a ball pin like under the figure and so yeah uh, let's see if you could take that off oh okay so no no i cannot take that off but i also i don't want to break it but overall i that's what i've been seeing like you could have like a neck articulation so that's pretty good i really like that that you got uh it, that's capable now like they added that to the figure um also uh you get um for for his legs uh he can go up and down i know because of the i won't say skirt but <laughs> um some his belt waist um going around for his holster like uh it's kind of blocking that capability capability for him to move uh, but you can move his leg go forward a little bit he can bend it like all the way um again the armor is here but that's not gonna uh, interfere with the bending um also you could boots uh, boots swivel um the same thing for the other leg um works as well as the right leg and also um if you try to like Ben, like if you try to make Echo do the split, it's gonna be a little bit hard because of his belt, you know, going around and the fabric. Uh, well, this is not fabric, but it's plastic. But the part that he wears for um, underneath his waist, it's not gonna let you expand. Um, so yeah, and that's pretty much for articulation. It's pretty good. And also, I forgot to mention. The backpack they use i don't know what this backpack like they use is but I, I guess it's for materials and all that stuff but overall i just didn't get to talk about it when i was talking about his detail of the armor but I, it's a really nice backpack i really thought it's a really unique look to them as an art trooper and also i forgot <laughs> to mention um they painted the details here for the gauntlet it looks really nice like red Red, um, green, um, red, green, and all white, um, and also uh, you get his uh, little pouch here. Um, it's a really nice detail. Every art trooper they have that uh, has that, so I thought that was pretty neat. But yeah, that's Echo for you guys. So for funsies, you guys, here is Echo uh, comparing alongside with Commander Cody. And I gotta say, they really, they both look awesome together. I can't wait if we get um, fives to put him in there also. And I wish I had um, Captain Rex, uh, see, uh, the Black Series uh, figure. Uh, it's just that I didn't get the opportunity to get it back in the day. But if they ever release it again, uh, you'll be sure to know that I will definitely get it if they re-release it again. Here is Echo alongside with Venom. And for, you know, just for the heck of it, uh, here is Captain Rex, the three inch quarter uh, scale that came out all the way back in 2003. Um, wow, 2003, 2008. <laughs> oh, but yeah, 2008, Captain Rex. This is a figure that, that came out a long time ago when the first, uh, uh, when the series season one came out, when the show was starting off and yeah, I just wanted to throw it in there for to see the comparison on, you know, uh, how uh, how long the figures had came. So that's it for Echo, you guys. So let's move along I want to the next one. Let's go to General Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now here is Obi-Wan out of the box, you guys. And woo, I, that's all I got to say because this figure is on fire. I got to say. Obi-Wan never looked any better. I, I just gotta say, he looks tremendously phenomenal. I love it. I 
the way they created it um, for the six inch um, black series line it, it it just baffles me how well they did it. it he looks really nice and I just can't take my eyes off him it just he looks so really good um again it just wow it just it's so nice and uh, how well they did it like it feels like the um the animation like for the uh, star wars the clone wars like it's you know it's out on my table right it just came out from the tv and hop in at my table that's how well they did it and i know in the 2003 micro series um clone wars which is a good series by the way you should check it out if you haven't um it's a really um nice series the armor that Kenobi uh, pretty much he uses, it, it was full armor. It wasn't half Jedi uh, robes and clone trooper. It was, I know he disguised himself as a clone trooper when he was fighting one of the bad guys, um, one of the generals, and he was full on clone trooper armor when he l led the charge. So, so this is pretty much like, um, they went with that take when they did the 2008, uh, 2008, Clone Wars and they wanted to do half and half like half clone trooper armor and half Jedi armor so I think that's a really nice approach they did it and so yeah um, get a much closer look at the figure he looks uh, phenomenal uh, the armor looks great and the symbol the Jedi symbol on the side um, looks great I always like that that they had the Jedi symbol on here um, uh, like representing you know he's a jedi and everything um also you get to see his lightsaber it's pretty nice i really like it how it came out um i'll show you a closer look in a second but just to show you the figure all around it's really nice the um sculpted and everything and yeah it's a really nice overall figure i don't know if you notice um with this figure but Okay, so story behind it that when I got the figure, this one, I, I already bought one, one Obi-Wan, and I wanted a second one just to keep on, uh, on the box. So this was the second one, and I noticed when I got him that, <laughs> that his face, if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but let me put the light on here, that his face, it's a, uh, like during, um, underneath his mustache, like around the mustache, like one side is, is like, paint it but the other one is like I uh, left a little bit of paint off like it didn't got all the way painted so it feels like that one of the his side um his right side of his face is full on mustache but this one on the lip side like it's like a little off <laughs> but I, I can fix that no problem I just need to mix a little bit of paint and all good uh, all nice uh, all good to go I really like the head, uh, the head sculpt uh, of Obi Wan. Uh, I like that they took the elements of the actor that did the Star Wars movies, like for Obi Wan, Ian McGregor, and and did um, the Hasbro did like a live action combination with his face sculpt um, model with the CGI model, just mix it into one, so you get this interpretation of you know um, because they're both from the series and you know they wanted to incorporate that so i like the the mix of it they uh, combine it together the same as with echo i really like they have they did that for for the characters here um it makes a lot, nice um transition like like uh, cgi to live action and then also uh mix in the middle so taking a closer look at obi-wan's uh lightsaber this is the only accessory that he comes with uh, so yeah the, pretty much you know a Jedi his main weapon is a lightsaber so that's all they need is just a lightsaber but you know for the figure I know back then um, they uh, especially for the first figure in 2008 they came out they added more pieces for it like a jetpack and force push like um, accessories and stuff like that uh, but not for these figures, they just added the lightsaber just to like make it like simple. But but checking out the detail of the lightsaber, it looks really nice, really well painted. I didn't see any like any paint 
malfunction or anything like that. Like, I didn't see any paint, like, uh, any scraped or or the paint, like, the gold or being chopped off or the silver or anything like that. It's a really well-painted uh, lightsaber. Uh, you could take the lightsaber off. And so it could be just the lightsaber, uh, like, turn off. And it has the effect like, oh, okay, Obi-Wan has to, his lightsaber off and then when he turns it back on and goes to battle right away. You can put the lightsaber uh, next to the whole, um, his belt. So here is a, like a, a hole right here. And when you check out the lightsaber, there's a peg here um, implanted in the lightsaber. So all you gotta do is just take out the, the stick, the blue lightsaber stick just take it out of the saber and then if you wanted just to have Obi-Wan um, have his lightsaber on his belt you could do that um, just put it right here on the belt like next to the belt next to the hole and look at that all good to go so for Obi-Wan articulation um, it's pretty much the same as Echo's um, since you know he's wearing armor I'll, uh, his arms like especially the his elbows um, doesn't have like donor, uh, double jointed elbows that could go all the way since he has the armor and it doesn't go all fully all the way um, he can uh, move his hip uh, his waist go around like all the way 360 degrees um, his head movement it can go up and down um, and it can go side to side also if you can tell he has the neck movement like as echo so it's a really nice detail they're doing um, with this line. They're having like neck articulation, which is pretty pretty good. Um, also, um, his legs, uh, it could go back and forth, but because of the Jedi robes, it doesn't make um, Obi Wan have his leg go fully all the way up and fully all the way back. It could go halfway, but not all the way. And for his elbow, he can bend his knees really well no problem there and also he can um, move his uh, foot uh, um, down and up and has boot swivel which is nice the same thing for his other leg all good so pretty much this Obi-Wan Kenobi the one that I have it's pretty solid. I didn't see no problems with it, except the only minor thing with the mustache. I can fix that um, with no problem. I easily took it back and got another one. But I don't know when when there's a small detail problems like that, like this. What I figure, I guess I you could say it makes them a little bit more unique. But but overall, I. It, this is a pretty much solid figure. So for side comparison, I'm bringing back out Clone Trooper Commander Cody. So I gotta say, since we got General Kenobi now, it's a, a, a they look better together. Just having like Obi Wan and Commander Cody together. Since I already got Echo out, so I'm gonna put him alongside with General Kenobi. And I gotta say, they look uh, really good in, in scale. Um, as you can tell, um, Echo is a little bit taller than General Kenobi. Um, but overall, I really like the size comparison. I, I guess Echo is a little bit taller because of the armor he's wearing, or just he's just um, a taller character. And uh, also because of the helmet. Let me take the helmet off just to see what out the helmet. Yeah, uh, I thought so. It's the helmet. It's just making it look a little bit bigger because of the helmet. But overall, they're pretty much in the same scale. Here is Kenobi alongside with Super Shredder. Pretty much Super Shredder takes all the camera. So for for funsies, here is General Kenobi, mini General Kenobi from the from the 2008 line back in the day, the three inch um, quarter scale. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's like um, Obi Wan is the bigger brother of mini Obi Wan. <laughs> it just I don't know. It just seemed funny to me, but you can see like. Um, that, that boat, like, the mini one is more animated and the larger one is more a combination of live action and animated together, so. So now moving on to the last figure, we're gonna go with Anakin, so take it away, Anakin. Now last, we're moving on to the last figure with Anakin, and I gotta say, Anakin looks as great as Echo and Obi-Wan. I, I cannot uh, much say that 
this figures um, came out pretty great and especially with Anakin um, Anakin was um, I would say my favorite figure when when the original came out like in 2008 like uh, him and Obi-Wan were my favorites it just uh, it's just cool to see the armor like in their general armor uh, with Jedi robes is pretty cool and I always like that design uh, in the Clone Wars um, and now they were getting it in 6 inch scale with the Black Series it, it just looks even even much better um, I really enjoy uh, how this figure came out um, I really like the approach they took when making um, I know they recreated Anakin's face model um, they wanted to do uh, from the interview, I heard they wanted to um, do an in-between of, you know, from Revenge of the Sith and and the um, Attack of the Clones, like in-between, like during the Clone Wars. So, so that's the approach they took because, you know, in the animated series, like, they took that approach also. Um, his hair wasn't, like, as long as, as, as we see him in Episode 3. So, they... They re, uh, did the hair model like to make it not too long or too short, just like in between. And also like for the face model um, here for for Anakin, it's a new sculpt. And also they took the actor's face of Hayden Christensen, um, you know, mix it in with the CGI, you know, design of the Clone Wars and, you know, mix it in together and make it, um, <laughs> the figure we see today. I know I've been hearing a lot of people not liking the face model for Anakin, but I think it came out pretty good. Um, not like all the way 100% like perfect or anything like that. Of course, any figure is going to have their flaws and, and stuff like that. But, you know, they did, um, the best they could with it and, I think they did a nice job because I do see Hayden Christensen and also um, the interpretation of like the CGI model they did for the Clone Wars. So, you know, two and two together, it makes them together. Um, they, you know, they got uh, this interpretation which balanced out pretty well. So I think they did great, um, a good job with it. Uh, what I noticed here at the bottom of the robe um, it, it is um, fabric made. It's not like they use some um, tail, um, actually fabric for, for the piece under here out of the robe. Um, so, so when I saw that, I thought the, the ropes here in the middle was also fabric, but no, this part is plastic. Uh, I thought it would be neat if they added like a, a uh, material like fabric material here that would have been nice but uh, it still looks good either way it just I just thought it would be a nice touch if they did that also here like they did down here uh, from the robes and also you get to see um, the Jedi symbol that he has on his left shoulder um, I always thought that was a nice detail they did even added in the animation and also on the previous figures um, also, um, this, um, Anakin's lightsaber here is really nice made. I'm gonna give you a close-up of it in a little bit. Let me take that away from now on. Um, I really like, um, his glove. It's much more <laughs> detailed, um, and like with the paint, as you can see. Um, yeah, and the boots, um, I really like um, it's um, it's not like um, general uh, Kenobi's that he has all trooper armor and this is more like Jedi um, boots that he uses. So I always thought that Anakin went like went more traditional Jedi, even though he was a general. He has some um, armor plates here and his shoulder here and there, but he kept more. Uh, a Jedi traditional look than Obi-Wan during the Clone Wars like he used more clone trooper armor than um, the Anakin did he never used um, clone trooper armor but he used you know armor on top here but yeah overall I think they did a really nice job uh, with this uh, figure molded in and sculpted in and also like getting the 
uh, clothing from the show. Uh, a closer look of, of Anakin's lightsaber. Um, you know, we get we got a lot of previous um, Anakin's lightsaber, you know, with Luke. Um, and also with Ray. You know, it's the same lightsaber we've seen uh, many, many times. Um, you know, it has a little bit gold here. Everything in all silver. And a few area is uh, red for the button here, front and back. And so you can see here's the peg, um, peg for to put in the lightsaber, and also the same as the only one you can detach the lightsaber blade and and keep it um, just just the lightsaber. Um, so you could put it away um, Anakin's belt, or just have it like just uh, not ignite it. Uh, put it in really quick. You can see the peg right here. Um, for Anakin to put his lightsaber, um, I don't know if the light will see you, but yeah, um, right here you can put the peg of the lightsaber, um, the same as Obi-Wan, oh, all right, so here we go, um, so yeah, you can put, um, his lightsaber away, and the same as Obi-Wan, and it looks really nice on the belt, and I think that, uh, um, I, I want to say I would keep it this way because I want him to hold the lightsaber. But if you want to like take photos of him, have his lightsaber away, and or having him on the shelf, tuck like this, like the lightsaber on his belt, it's really nice choice. Just just make sure um, it's secure. I mean, when I shake it, it doesn't fall. But sometimes if we don't secure it very well, it can get loose and it will fall. And we don't want to lose the lightsaber for sure. So for Anakin articulation, um, since he doesn't, it's not wearing like clone armor. It's more it's a little bit flexible, but but yeah, I should have guessed it since um, uh, I guess I see in, see it more with Marvel Legends line that the figures had double jointed elbows. And I should have guessed it. Like for this one, doesn't have double jointed um, elbows because most of the line of figures for for the black series is it, a single jointed. Doesn't go like double like to for the elbows. So yeah, but overall it's still good. It just um with the clone trooper armor, it just goes a little bit halfway. So this one more goes more all the way than. Then the others because it has that extra elbow uh, armor on them. And also for the armor of Anakin, it's flexible. Um, it's more loose. Um, you can move it or when you move the shoulder around. You can move um, the shoulder piece pretty good. Um, you can move it. Well, kind of move it all the way around. But if you don't want the the shoulder blades to like to pop off or anything like that so just try not to move the arm all the way 360 so so doesn't the shoulder blade doesn't break off or anything like that so you can see it has a a separate piece for the for the shoulder armor so it doesn't like like break or um it, they just decided to put a different piece like when you put it on the on the arm uh, so you can have more flexibility when it moves up and down doesn't be attached to the main armor here on his um, like around his shoulders and for his head articulation it's the same as Obi-Wan and Echoes it can go up and down and side to side and it has that same um, neck articulation as um, Kenobi and Echo and also um, for moving on to the leg uh, to the his legs um, he can go he can go up and down like back to front um, for going to the side like spread them wide it doesn't go all the way wide because of the skirt piece here like from the robe um, it's like limited him to go uh, spreading his legs even more. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> sorry, but overall, um, you can still move his leg back and forth. All good. Uh, you can bend his elbows, uh, not elbows, um, his knees. All good. And he, he has 
on boot swivel, same as Obi-Wan and Echo, up and down and boot swivel and ankle, I mean, feet articulation, up and down. And for his waist, he can go, I would say he can go all the way 360 degrees. It's just a little stiff. If because of the robe, I would say, because you can see here, it's a little bit tucking it um, out. So, so uh, he can go all the way 360. It's just, it's, it's much more stiff than Obi-Wan's and Echo, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, um, pretty much it's a solid figure, same as Echo and Obi-Wan. Um, the articulation is very good. It doesn't see anything stiff. Just a little bit stiff around the um, knee area, but just move it around a little bit more and you'll be good to go. Hopefully you don't need a blow um, hair dryer just to like make the the plastic softer so you can move the knee. So for a side comparison, you guys, here is Anakin alongside with Echo. Here is Anakin alongside with Bo-Katan. Here is Anakin alongside with Chan Chang Shi. And for funsies, here is Anakin alongside with his little self from the 2008 series. And it's a lot different, but yeah, they're there goes big brother and little brother um comparison <laughs> so that's all for this video you guys thank you for watching again uh, i know this was a long video i just uh decided uh to do all the figures all the three figures i got together instead of separately uh i don't know i just felt uh to do it together not just to get out of the way it just it, you know it was a special uh, like experience to to make them all of them together because um, you know they're exclusive and a lot of people they were looking forward to them and I was looking forward to them the longest also and I just wanted to make a, a little bit longer video for just um, just talk about the Clone Wars because I, I I love the Clone Wars a lot it's such a great experience that I had when um, back in high school and then. All, all throughout the years still now like watching Clone Wars and talking with people and how much like how the story development from that show has gone so far and you know it just make I uh, made it for me and a lot of people a lot of good memories and and just watching these figures and getting them I uh, brought back a lot of those old memories when experiencing the Clone Wars back then like for the first time like from episode one all the way through the end so I really enjoyed the show. I really enjoyed these, uh, like these characters. They're great characters um, and great. It gave a lot of great development in the show for for this individual three. So uh, so if you if you've never seen Clone Wars again, uh, you know uh, take the time uh, to check it out for yourself. I'm looking forward if they decide. Uh, later on to release to get Ahsoka from the Clone Wars like having her green lightsabers that they'll be pretty pretty cool and also I'm looking forward if they do um, Fives because Fives is my favorite clone trooper <laughs> alongside Rex and I if they ever do the the same thing they did here for these figures for for Fives and Ahsoka like those two are, are the main one like I will focus my hand on getting and on um, getting if they decide to like to bring out and, and I'm sure they will uh, they're pretty popular characters too um, but yeah um, overall and also I wish you luck <laughs> I also wish you luck if you're trying to find these figures at, at Target again and uh, you only can get these Target uh, figures uh, you can only get these at Target they're only a Target exclusives now I'm repeating it so you don't go to Walmart or anywhere else and be like, I can't find them. So again, they're Target exclusives. So yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to say. I Again, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And yeah, uh, since uh, also since you've seen the Clone Wars here, I also mentioned that I have, um, I was going to do a review on uh, Asajj Ventress and also I got Dooku. And also along the way, I'm going to get Grievous, so I'm going to um, do reviews on them. So 
it could be completed like <laughs> since i started with the good guys so i'm gonna do videos of the bad guys too so yeah watch out for that also okay <laughs> i'm done i'm done i'm done talking all right that's all that's all for this video you guys and i'll see you guys on the next one take care